Hello, and welcome to the third section, Creating MVC Apps with Express.js. In the previous section, we learned what Node.js applications are made from, including how to work with streams and files. In this section, we will start building our sample application using Express.js framework. First, we will learn what is Express.js and why we might want to use it. We will then learn what MVC is and how it helps us build applications which are easier to maintain and test. We will also learn what is routing and how we can define routes to have dynamic applications. Then we will start building our sample application by generating its skeleton and adding user authentication. Then we will take a step towards how to use Handlebar's templating engine and how it helps us to present our data in different ways. Now, let's move forward to the first video of this section that deals with Express.js basics. In this video, we will learn what Express.js is, how a sample application using it looks like, and where we can get more information about this web framework. Express.js is a fast and minimalist web framework for Node.js applications. At the moment, it's the most popular Node.js MVC framework. Its philosophy is to provide small and robust tools for HTTP servers. It's a great solution for single page applications, websites, and public APIs. It allows you to plug the libraries you need to build a solution for your problem. A framework is not required to make web applications, but it allows you to develop them faster and better. A framework is a tool providing a lot of solutions to recurring problems, like routing, for example. This allows you to focus on your specific problem and make a solution to it rather than writing code for the same problems. Express.js uses middleware to extend its functionality. Middleware is a function which has access to request and response objects. They can make changes to those objects or execute some other code to achieve their purpose. Let's make a simple Express.js application. First, let's import Express module and then create an application using Express function. After that, we will define what will happen when we get a request. The callback arguments are often shorthanded to rec and res. For our course, we will be using request and response, as I find it easier to understand and faster to type. You can actually replace the callback arguments with whatever name you want, and it would still work. In the end, we run app.listen method with the port number. App.listen is a convenient method for launching Node.js HTTP server. Before running the application, we need to install Express module with the npm install command. After it's done, run the Express.js application and open it in the browser. Congratulations, you just made your first Express.js application. If you get stuck or need a reminder on how something works, Express.js provides an easy to understand documentation. It covers multiple topics. The framework also provides a lot of examples to get you started. In this video, we learned what is Express.js and why you would want to use it for making your web applications. We have seen how a sample Express.js application looks like and where to find more information if you're stuck.